trying to get started. Uh, we want first to have Anna to prepare herself for a meeting with a client. So what she will do or could do, she can go to this first compare. If she have uh, listed her client, she can look up the client. If not, you can just browse through the version. Let's say, for example, you want to meet a client which are running on a 17. You can then click here. You can see all the country versions here available. If you do have the client, you can select from the list. And let's say it was this client, it automatically pick up this client's version and contribution. I can now try to write something here in the description. On the right side, we have uh, two options to compare. We can do it on the overview level. Uh, the benefit with that is that uh, we can take all objects. We don't need to have any license at all. We can take anything we want. Limitation of course is we don't have any code. Let's try that first. What I do is I just open up my development environment, I mark any objects here, I select copy, I go back, and I just right click here and say paste. When I've done that, it straight away read in all the objects into Object Analyzer like you see here. In this demonstration, we would like to have the code as well, so I will do a reset here instead, and I'll go to option number two, where I can see here I can select the file, so I have exported my object into a text file instead, and you can see here around 200 megabytes and when I do that you see it automatically shows my the file so if I'm concerned which file I picked you of course capture that and now it starts to read the file to make sure all the data in this file is valid and correct and it takes of course uh, around 30 seconds to one minute let's see if it's getting ready and it will also do some basic checking for example for version list date and time if that has been updated correctly and it shows me now that five objects actually have an issue with the version list so if i scroll down i can see here now that yes version list is missing on this three or five objects actually so i now have options to exclude it or include it anyway i decide in this case it doesn't matter for my compare this time i just want to include because i want to have all I have a number of options here as well, and uh, in this demonstration, I will just explain about this one. But you can see, of course, system objects to include that. That speaks for itself. But here, I want to include the code to show and demonstrate the features for this presentation, and then I click compare. This is now the first time it asks me to charge me something for my account. It will take 50 coins. So, what do I pay for? I pay for uh, preparing this compare with the standard version means we will have stored the standard version of all those versions and we will also we will also charge you for the storage of this compare so everybody in your organization can share it and you can keep it so you don't need to pay again if you want to look at it tomorrow of course or later so what happened now is that this uh, 200 megabytes is now in process of being sent to Microsoft Azure and it of course is only stored on your account and nobody else has access to it and it's 200 megabyte it takes a little time but i think it's quite fast so already now we have the first information ready and we can see the base compare we have taken our lift service company you can see a description some details and i have a set a which is my standard of uh, 2016 which has been found in our server in our database and our set B is the file compare and we can see the file I have used, it's listed here. And you can see on the right side here, it's still working, it's now in process of uploading the file. But what we did is we already took and prepared the first compare based on just the overview, which we have read already. And based on that information, we can actually already give you some nice overview here, where you can see my set A, which is standard. It actually has 4,577 objects but this client have 7348 objects i can now see how many is equal if anything is new in a means that we will now detect if this for example has been upgraded and somebody has forgotten to update an object it will be reflected and displayed here you can also see new objects so how many so we know how much is new and we can also see by area what is new for example here reports there are 33 new reports and modify it again and also missing so it actually also shows us here that two objects is actually missing in this installation and you can straight away see that is in the menu suite we can also see that number of add-ons as well and we got a message box below also now that successfully have completed 
all the compare. So you can see now it's 100% file upload. And I can also now see my CU level determination here. So you can see this lowest level fully installed is the CU4. The latest fully installed is, sorry, CU1. And the latest fully installed is CU4. And then we can see there's been installed a number of partial CUs in this installation. And by the way, they could have been on 55.